Well, already Thursday, once again, you know what that means. Another segment of Fishing Tips. This, team, this week, Ray and Mandy discuss everything you need to know about bass fishing. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about bass fishing. Uh, uh, bass is the number one f selected fish for anglers across the United States of America. Getting more and more popular in Minnesota, especially with smallmouth bass becoming so important in some of our lakes. Mille Lacs, Leech Lake have good numbers of smallmouth bass. So we want to talk a little bit about some of the techniques that you can use. And the great thing about bass fishing is when the bass are biting, kids can catch them. When they aren't biting, even the pros can't catch them, so we all know what that's all about. But I'd like to talk about two techniques that are very common. One of my favorites is just using a plain old worm, and they come in a variety of sizes and colors. You can get them four inches long to 10 inches, 11 inches long, and it's just on a little tiny mushroom jig head. This particular technique is almost weedless. It just slides through normal weed lines in the, in the lake. This is a very effective technique. You feel a little tap, you just give it a second and set the hook, bang. My favorite technique is to use what's called a wacky worm. And wacky worms are taking a worm like this and, and you try to balance it, put the hook in the center of the worm and you throw it out so the worm goes down like this. And days when the fish won't bite anything, they just can't hardly resist latching onto a wacky worm. It's a very effective technique. I've got a straight shank worm hook with a worm, a single worm on it and a weight up here. You see this weight isn't pegged and it can slide. So this is called a Texas rig. And unlike the wacky rig that floats down horizontally, this, the weight goes down and slides and the worm goes down with it. Then you jig it and it pops up again. So it's constantly this up and down pop motion uh, with the worm tail, you know, flailing in the water. It's, it's actually really, really effective. Hands down, my favorite technique for bassin is a Texas rig craw tube. So when we say the Texas rig, we talked about it with the worm. You've got the weight up here that slides freely that gives you that bouncing action. I've got a four aught wide gap hook and then the plastic on here. For some reason, this thing can produce bites out of a weed line, off a flat. Um, it comes in multiple different colors and obviously it mimics crayfish, bass's favorite food. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the bass and biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.